Hey guys, Moment I Jigger here, bringing you a brand new deck profile. So I'm very, very excited for this. Um, it is an old, I don't know if I've ever made an old profile for it. I don't think I did, um, but it's going to be on Beatlemon. And I want to say I'm probably, I, I want to say that I'm the first person on YouTube, Digimon Wise, to post a deck profile for this because I cannot find anything. Whenever I find something, it's on the new Beatlemon for uh, 2.0 for Digimon. And whenever I do find a deck for it, it's never like a pure deck. It's always like, oh, it's it's a black hybrid with um, the Mother D Reaper with Shoto for like the blocker stuff. And so I I really like Beetlemon because uh, the old Beetlemon stuff is pretty good. It's very unfortunate that you can't really use it with the new stuff. Like it, it's almost, it, only the Tamer is the only usable thing with it. But yeah, let's get started with the profile. So first off, we're, we were doing a yellow base. Um, we're going to be using four Kyarumon from the uh, the Waltz uh, structure deck for Digimon. Uh, this is, in my opinion, probably the best uh, yellow egg now. It's just very generically good. If you have another Digimon, you get to draw a card when attacking. So it's just it's super, super nice. And these are very, very cheap. All right, so let's get started with the rookies. Uh, where are they at? I think that's the last of them. There we go. All right, so we run a, a, a decent amount of rookies. So for the first rookie we were running, it's new. Um, I'm gonna do like a little like like uh, set wise too. So like these are worth very very cheap. Um, these are also really cheap too. Uh, so cool commentary mods. So uh, during your turn, once per turn, when this Digimon or any of your uh, or, or any of your tamers would Digivolve into a multicolor black or yellow Digimon card, which everything in the multicolor for this deck ha has yellow in it. So you know, you you'll always meet the requirements. Um, black or yellow Digimon card, you can reduce the Digivolve cost by one, which is super nice. And then the inherit is uh, it has blocker, so super nice. Uh, it was for one, unfortunately, um, but yeah, it's 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 very strong and it helps a lot. Uh, next off, we are running three of the Nemon. So Nemon searches every tamer, searches the entire deck. Uh, so on play, reveal the topic cards every day. Add one card with a hybrid or ten warriors trait, and one yellow tamer card with inherited effects. And then you bottom like the rest. And then when any of your tamers with an inherit inherited effects are played. You gain one memory, so super, super nice and super, super like versatile. And it, it, it also it doesn't hurt when you evil in the back to draw a card, which is nice. Uh, next, we're gonna go to those are these are the only ones I can go on top of the eggs. Uh, we're not doing Ukumon, I uh, because I do not want to try it out right now, uh, but maybe in the future I will. But this is like the first draft of it. So uh, next, we are running two of the old um, Nemons. These are cheap. They're, these are like fifty cents. Um, so Nemon is. You may play one tamer card with an inherited effect from your hand without paying the cost. So very, very nice. It plays out any of the tamers you have in the deck for a cost of three, essentially. Basically cheaping, uh, cheaping the cost. And the all turns effect is when one of your Digimon with a tamer card and its its uh, sources is deleted, you may play one tamer card from your trash without paying the cost. So that's super, super nice. So he gives you, in a sense, he gets you two tamers, essentially. Uh, next, we are running four Pokemon. Pokemon, no one likes this card. I love this card. Everybody always wants to kill it. Uh, very old from BT7. So on play, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one card with a hybrid of 10 warriors trait. And one Tamer card from among them. And then you bottom like the rest. When one of your Tamer's stage evolves, you gain two memories. So essentially, your evil on the Tamer is usually free or it's very, very cheap. And then for the last of rookies. Oh, sorry about that. I hit the camera. And these are also like very dirt cheap. Uh, we were playing two of the other Pokemon. It, it doesn't really synergize too well. I'm mainly running it for the altar for the the my turn effect. Um, so the on play, uh, it's just like um, Nemon, but it searches for a red base for Tamers. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Add one card with a hybrid and warrior trait, and one red Tamer with inherited effects, and you bottom the rest. Uh, so the Tamer search will always whiff. I'm mainly running it for the inherit. Um, for the your turn effect is when one of your Digimon or Tamers Digivolve to a Digimon card. With the hybrid and orange trait, you gain one memory. So it, it's a uh, super super nice uh, when you combo it off with the cool commentary mod. When you even to like the beetle mod, it, it's, it's essentially free because you reduce it by one, but then you get the memory back. So it's a uh, it's it's nice, but it's still situational. It hasn't really come up too much, so I might try to find another yellow Digimon um, to see like uh, what would be better to replace it, or I might just bump the Digimon count up to four um, because I have really really been liking this a lot. So those are all the rookies. Now we're gonna go to the fours. Playing quite a bit of them. All right. So the MVP for the deck is going to be four Beetlemon. So Beetlemon is pretty insane. He's like a fifty cent card, maybe like, maybe like a dollar. Um, so evils for three on top of a, a black or yellow tamer, 
and then evils for three on top of a uh, level uh, level three. Oh, so unfortunately, but it has it an alternate digivolution cost. So you can digivolve for two on, uh, on top of JP for cost of two or Metal Kapaterimon for zero, which is super, super nice. Um, when digivolving, until the end of your opponent's turn, this Digimon can't be deleted by their effects. So it's super, super good. It basically says like, hey, I'm gonna Digivolve, but you're playing against red, you can't pop me. You're playing against purple, you can't pop me. The only thing you lose is like playing against blue, they bounce back to your hand, you're like, oh well. And then the effect is when attacking, one of your Digimon retainers may Digivolve into a black or yellow Digimon card with a, with a hybrid trait in hand with the digivolution cost reduced by one. Um, so, so you can sort of like chain tamers and then you can like digivolve and then digivolve when you attack and stuff. And the inherit effect is um, the, the, almost the same inherit like all the new hybrids do. So all turns when this Digimon will leave the battle area other than by one of your effects. So like, if your opponent runs it over, they blow it up. As long as you're not trying to crash into anything, you'll get the effect. You may play one tamer card with inherited effects from this Digimon Digivolution cards without paying the cost. So let's say you have a JP under it, and it would, and uh, and you swing, you leave on top of it, and it dies. You should replay on the JP again. So super, super nice card, super solid. And then next, of course, we were playing four of the Metal Copper Um Doesn't evil as cheap as it does on top of a tamer. On top of JP is for three. On top of Beetle on it's for one. And then it's a blocker and on play when digivolving, you can digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon and the inheritance blocker. So super, super exotic card. It's very good against decks that are like uh, ace like ace heavy. So you can like just digivolve for three, the digivolve, gain three memory back, gain four memory back. It's it's super, super nice. Uh, next, so we are playing a, a very, very small purple package. So we are playing two uh, Lobimons. Lobimon has been very, very nice. It's been super consistent. Uh, so it's a uh, it, it digivolves, digivolves on top of uh, Ko uh, Koichi for cost of two and or Kaiser Leomon for cost of zero. So when digivolving, you can draw a card and trash a card. When attacking, one of your Digimon retainers may digivolve into a purple or yellow Digimon card with a hybrid trait in your trash. So it's super super nice because everything is yellow, everything is yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, uh, purple, yellow. And then the inherit effect is the exact same thing as the Beetlemon. When a Digimon will leave the battle area other than by one of your effects, you may play one Tamer card with inherited effects from this Digimon sources without being the cost. And then we are playing two Kaiser Leomon. Uh, so it has retaliation just like the old one, but it's a lot better because it's just built in. So it's super, super cool. Um, so on play when Digimon, you can delete one of your opponent's level four lower Digimon. And so that's just really, really nice to do. Uh, evil on top of Loimon for one, Koichi for three. And has retaliation for the regular effect and it has retaliation for the inherit. So it's super, super nice. And, and it allows you to be very, very, very aggressive with the deck. Just like a hybrid deck should be. And so like dirt cheap, dirt cheap, dirt cheap, and dirt cheap. It, it's all really cheap. Now next. And when I mean cheap, I mean like it's probably like under like a quarter. Now we're going to go on to the fives. We're only running six fives because we are playing a big amount of uh, level fours. So we are running three, I mean four of the Rano Cup of Terramon. So this card is just very, it's, it's very cool. It's very strong. Um, so they develop on top of a hybrid that's black or yellow for cost of three. And so it has a hand effect. So by placing a Beetlemon and one middle Cup of Terramon from your trash underneath one of your black or yellow tamers, you can digivolve it into this card for a digivolution cost of three, ignoring requirements. So that's a super, super nice thing. Um, you just go into a five and just start doing some stuff. Uh, has collision, so that means when he attacks, it gives all of your opponent's Digimon blockers and they have to block. And then all turns, when when attack targets change, this Digimon may unsuspend, so it's super cool. And then when attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000 DP for the turn, so super nice, super cool. So you have like a built-in like warp Evo, essentially. And then we are only playing two uh, Rehimon, so uh, Evo's on top of a level, uh, level four hybrid that's purple or yellow. And so you'll always meet the requirement for three. Um, has the exact same hand effect where one of your low Yamon Kaiser the Yamon from your trash underneath one of your purple yellow tamers, did you evolve it into this card for additional cost for uh, cost of three, ignoring requirements. Has built in jamming, and then when digivolving, you can play one tamer card from your trash with inherited effects without paying the cost. And then when digivolving, one of your opponents digivolving gets minus 4,000 DP for the turn, so same inheritance. So super super nice. And, and it's nice too that they're both 8k bodies. And these are like 10 cent cards. Now, on to the sixes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, these are also very, very cheap. 
Um, so this is like the 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 pseudo high end. You don't really need to go into it unless um, the opponent is like 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 I said, you're playing against red, you're playing against uh, black, or you're playing against uh, purple, or they just keep popping your stuff. This is a very very good floater. Um, so they dropped on top of it. I've been sectoid for a cost of three. So this is the only one it can't, well, I mean, no, this is, this can also evil on top of, um, Loimon, but it's gonna be for a cost, oh, it's still a cost of three. <laughs> uh, so regardless, it's for, it, it's evils for three. So on play when Digivolving, you can do Digivolve two of your opponent's Digimon, um, by two. So very, very good, very strong. And so all turns when this Digimon will leave the battle area, you may play one level four or lower Digimon card with Insectoid or Hyper Trait. From this Digimon Digivolution card is not paying the cost. And I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I forgot that you can Digicross this. Uh Digicross this was um Beetlemon and Metal Um so essentially you play this for a, a reduction of four, which is seven, I believe. Yeah, so you, so you play this for seven, you can Digivolve, it's a, it will be a blocker with the uh, uh Metal Copterimon, and if it would die. So and that's 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 the really nice thing about these new level sixes for all the ancients. It says when this Digimon will lead the battle area, so it doesn't care how by battle, by effect, by being deleted, bounce of the hand, bottom to the deck, you can still play out of body. So super super nice. Now on to the tamers. We are playing, of course, four JP. So these are the box toppers. These are like a dollar, but you can get the regular ones for like ten cents or a quarter. Um, so this is this is your your main tamer that you want to try to get. So it has security, play this card without paying the cost. Start of your main phase. If I trash you one card with the hybrid or ten warriors trait in your hand, you can draw one card. So very, very cool. And then all turns. When an attack target changes, you when attack targets change, you may play one tamer card with inherited effects from your hand without paying the cost. So essentially you can just like you can chain them off. When you do the um the combo for uh for Beetle One. Let me show you the combo right here really quick. Let me get that out and let me get this. Okay. So you evil on top of JP. So you're gonna swing a security, swing, and then his effect is whatever Digimon the tamper is made Digivolve into a black or yellow Digimon card with a hyper trait in hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by one. And so he is a hybrid. So you'll swing you evil for two. He has it's a you're still resolving your one attacking, and he has collision. So you give all your opponents Digimon blocker, and they have to they they have the block. So it's super cool. And then you switch targets, and then after that you get to play another tamer. So very very cool. Um, next we are playing two of the old JP. This is the only tamer that Beatemon can only evil on top of. of. Every all the other uh, hybrids cannot, unfortunately. Um, so the security effect is you play itself, the inherited effect is ass piercing. And during your turn, when a Digimon Digimon to a green Digimon card, you reduce cost by one. That part will never be the requirement because there are no green Digimon in this deck. And just in case you guys can have a little refresher, uh, Beatemon can evil on top of it. Uh, JP uh, Shibayama for a cost of two. So it just looks for the name and you can evil on top of this for a cost of two, which is super nice. And makes the stack actually a lot scarier because when you swing with this and then do this combo, uh, you're reduced by one, and then you also have piercing, and then you can unsuspend and maybe run something else over. I don't want to bump this up any any higher because it is technically like a dead card, because sometimes they, I'm so, I have I haven't had it happen to me yet, but there will be games where this will sometimes be the only tamer you see, and then none of your Digimon can evil on top of it except for this. But very nice tamer. Uh, then we are playing three um, Koichi Kimura. Uh, so this is the Lowy Mod Kaiser Leobon um, Evil Target. Uh, there, it's also very, very good. This is why I like the Nemon so much too, because Nemon can play this basically all of them for a cost of three, essentially. Um, so a security play this card without uh, paying the cost, and then start your main phase. You can trash one card with a hybrid and warriors trait to gain one memory. Super nice. And the inherit is is pretty broken. So when attacking, you may return one card with a hybrid trait or ten warriors trait. From your trash to your hand so no it says cars that means you can add the option car or you can add anything in the deck essentially and what's nice too it's like it's not like add a card trash card it's just you get to recycle a card back to your hand so which is super nice so you can uh like you can pitch a kaiser leo you can evil on top of the loimon draw a card trash card you can swing add back something that you trash and then evil into like a kaiser leo from your trash which is super cool uh, next, we are playing one uh, Takuya and Koji, 
it's mainly here because it's a memory setter the effect is is cool and all um but it's it's mainly here because it's a memory setter and if you play the Nemon, you can play this for basically for three or if you play the option card you can play it for two essentially um but let, let's just read it so security plays cards i'll play play this card without paying the cost Start your right if you have two or less memory set to three start your main phase you may place up to one hybrid trait card with different names in your trash under this tamer for each of your other tamers yeah two to the maximum this effect may place you never really you don't have to do that effect like i said it's here just because it's an every tamer but the inherit is pretty good because also they can all evil on top of this because it is yellow uh this digimon was the hybrid attend warriors trait may attack so attack a player so it's like pseudo blitz and so those are all the tamers that we were playing we were playing a good chunk thing four five six seven eight nine ten playing tame tamers and they're all like relatively super cheap and then for the last card we were playing three uh ancient guardian uh, deity this card is just it's it's strong it's it's very strong has 10 words in the trade for some reason so it is searchable by everything in the deck and so while you have a tamer or digimon card with a hybrid trait you may ignore this card's color requirement and then you may return one Digimon card with a hybrid of 10 Warriors trait from your trash to your hand. Then you may play one, dig uh, one Digimon card with the 10 Warriors trait or Tamer card with inherited effects from your hand with the play cost reduced by one. So you get to play every Tamer for free, except for the Takuya and Koji. You could think you get to play that for one. But if you play the Nemon, you get to play it for free, essentially. And then the security effect is you may play one Tamer card with inherited effects from your hand or trash, even freer. And then it's close to your hand. So it's just super good. And the deck's a lot of fun. I Today was my first time playing it. And I played about like five sets. against my friend playing um, Emperor Greymon, the, the new stuff. And I won uh, three out of five sets. And so the deck was performing very good. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's a lot of fun. And again, I hope you guys really enjoy this. And I'll see you guys next time.